Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. Now, in today's journey, we are now at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport. We are going to be taking off. We are heading to, well, we are leaving the Sunshine State and we are heading to another state. Can you guess where we are heading to? If you can guess where we are heading to, drop it in the comment section below. But in the meantime, sit back, relax and enjoy this flight with me. Now, we are learning that a house owned by a 52-year-old cane cutter was completely destroyed by fire. This took place early yesterday morning, Tuesday, June 28, 2022, about 5 o'clock. It is said that fire was seen coming from the house. As a result, the police and the fire department, they were contacted. When the fire personnel arrived, they were only able to do cooling down operation because the house that is made out of board and all its contents were completely destroyed by fire. Sad indeed. Now, in this next incident, we are learning that early yesterday morning, Tuesday, June 28, 2022, about 5 o'clock, the Chilani police acted on intelligence, they obtained a search warrant and they went to a house at Kettering District. Now, Kettering District is in the Duncan's police area in the parish of Chilani. We are told that one house was searched and during this search, one black Taurus 9mm pistol with the serial number intact affixed with a magazine containing 15 rounds of 9mm cartridges were found. It was found wrapped in a jeans pants in the house. Three persons who were in the house at the time, they were taken into police custody. Now, two of them are brothers. One of them, he is 23 years old and the other one, he is 20 years old. The third person taken into police custody is their mother. She is 58 years old. If and when we receive any information that any of them are charged, we will be updating this story. But congratulations to the Chulani police for the recovery of this illegal weapon. Now, this next incident, it took place last night. Tuesday, June 28, 2022, about 8 o'clock. It took place at Banana Ground District in the parish of Manchester. We are learning that that man that you're seeing on your screen, his name is Brandon Wright. He was popularly called Pepper and he was 50 years old. He lived in the same area, Banana Ground. It is said that Pepper and some other persons, they were at a shop in the community when a Toyota Yaris motor car drove up. Hoodlums in the car then opened fire on Pepper, hitting him all over his body. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape in the said motor car. From all indication, Pepper, he died on the spot. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Now, this next incident, it took place yesterday afternoon. Tuesday, June 28, 2022, about 3 o'clock. It took place at Retirement District in the Little London Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are being told that a man, he's in his early 40s, he was inside of his house fast asleep when he was awoken by gunshots being fired on his house. This man, he contacted the police. Now, when the police arrived on the scene, the police found a Molotov cocktail bomb. We are told that the house also had gunshot holes in it. Luckily, no one was injured in this attack. But, Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir, I hope you know that these persons will be coming back. So you need to take all of the safety precautions you can take because this was middle afternoon, 3 o'clock. And if these hoodlums can come and fire at your house, and throw a bomb at your house at that time of the day, you need to take all the safety precautions you can take and you also need to give the police the information as to what could have led to this. So let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the like button as yet? If you have not yet hit on the like button, remember to hit on it. You are not liking the stories we are carrying, you know. You are liking the fact that we are going above and beyond to bring you the stories. That is what you are liking. So, don't be afraid to touch the like button. 
that is what helped this channel to grow. Also, if you are here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, remember, hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, you may have heard a part of this story on this channel before, but I have to start from the start so you can understand where we are now. On Friday, December 3, 2021, sometime after 9 p.m., the Betteltown police, they were on patrol when they heard loud explosions sounding like gunshots being fired in the Belvedere community. Now, the Belvedere community is in the Betteltown police area in the parish of Westmoreland. As a result, the police decided to check out what was happening. Whilst the police were heading to the community of Belvedere, they saw a motor car coming in the opposite direction. The police, they signaled this motor car to stop. It was a silver Toyota Premio and it had four males and one female in it. The occupants of the car and the car itself were searched and a gun was found beneath the driver front seat. This gun, it was a black Taurus 9mm pistol with the serial number intact affixed with a magazine containing 12 rounds of 9mm cartridges. As a result of this find, the four males and one female who were found in the car, they were arrested and charged by the police. Now, the five persons charged are Romario Granville. He is 27 years old and he is said to be a social media blogger. He lives at Newmarket in the parish of St. Elizabeth. The female, she is Beyonce Beckford. She is 18 years old and she is from Highgate in the Darleston area. The third person charged is Devon Goslin. He is 23 years old and he lives in the same area. Belvedere in the Betteltown area in the parish of Westmoreland. The fourth person charged is Amado Cook. He is 18 years old and he also lives at Darleston in the parish of Westmoreland. The fifth person charged is Daniel Chin. He is 23 years old and he lives at Belvedere District in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, all five persons, they were arrested and charged for the offenses of illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition. They were indicted in the Western Regional Gun Court and they all pleaded not guilty. The matter, it was put off for trial. Now, here is what we are learning. The other persons in the car, they knew who the gun belonged to. Remember now, this gun, it didn't walk and go into the car. It is said that they were saying among themselves that Daniel Chin, he is the owner of the gun. So he must plead guilty. Daniel Chin, he decided that he now plead guilty. So we are learning that threats started coming in. If you don't plead guilty and own the gun, your family are going to get dirt. Daniel, he was still holding out. Now, Daniel's mother, her name is Miss Madeline Clark. She is 55 years old and she's a shopkeeper. She runs a little grocery shop along the Belvedere Main Road. So on Saturday, May 14th, 2022, about 10 o'clock in the night, Miss Clark, she was in the process of locking up her shop when hoodlums struck. Bam, 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 bam. Miss Clark, she was hit and she fell to the ground. The hoodlums, they didn't take anything from the shop because they got what they came for. They didn't come to rob, they came to kill. They then made good their escape on foot in the area. Miss Clark, she received gunshot wounds to her head. And from all indication, Miss Clark, who wasn't firing any gun at anybody, who wasn't chopping the line, all she was guilty of is being the mother of a hoodlum. She died on the spot. The police were called and Miss Clark, she was found lying on her back on the shop floor, lifeless. When this crime scene was processed, our information is that four 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So here is what we are learning now. One of the hoodlums who was held in the car and who is in police custody awaiting trial on the gun charge, it is said that he gave the order 
for Daniel's mother to be killed. The police, they also obtained the name of the two hoodlums who carried out this act. So on Friday, June 24, 2022, the Westmoreland police, they carried out an operation in the Belvedere area where one of the suspects, he was picked up. He has since been arrested and charged by the police for the offense of murder. His name is Justin Barnes. He is 20 years old and he is from Darlistan in the parish of Westmoreland. So, 20-year-old Justin is charged for killing 55-year-old Miss Madge Clark. So he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, crime with a mash up Jamaica, criminals them a mash up Jamaica, Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Murder, don't you be a bit me here, them a murder 